and welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda. I'm your independent sensory consultant and a total wax nerd. And today I'm going to be sharing what I've been warming lately. I'm going to start with all my Scentsy. I did some samplers and I warmed several bars. Then I'll move on to the retail and all the vendor wax I've been warming at the very end. So it's been a lot of fun. I've had some great scents here. I'm excited to talk about them. So here we go. I'm going to sit down and jump right in. All right, so first off, I'm going to start with the samplers. I have been starting to work my way through all the samplers of the new scents for the season from Scentsy. Um, there were 10 new scents. I've tried about half of them now. And then there's also been a few new to me scents that I think I've returned. For example, Strawberry Lemon Cake. This was the first one I warmed. I was really excited for this because I've always wanted to try it. And... It was the first one I warmed in my kitchen. Strawberry lemon cake. I loved it. That's why there's a little heart on there. I think this one is a little light, which I've heard, but it's so pretty. You get the lemon cake, strawberry, all mixing together. It's delicious. So I will definitely be buying more of this. I think this is a really good one. I also warmed Sip and Poolside. This one pleasantly surprised me. I thought this was going to be the one I'd like maybe the least when I first saw the scent notes. But when I got it and sniffed it, oh my gosh, I fell in love. It smells so good on cold. It honestly reminds me a lot of, uh, oh gosh, Skinny Dippin' from Scentsy. So it has uh, some similarities to that for me with all the fruitness. This one is so good. I warmed this in my kitchen as well because of all the fruity elements and I spend the most time in my kitchen. So, oh, it's so good. You get the pear. Well, I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it is pear. I think I do pick up on the pear. It's just a very strong fruity mix. And then it's not like aquatic to me, but it does have an essence of like a swimming pool. This is lovely. It is so good. This is a great summer scent. I will definitely be getting more of this one. Sip and pull side. I also warmed Cake Me to Paradise. I'm a bakery girl, so I always start with those pretty much. Uh, cake Me to Paradise. I love this one too. I warm this in my kitchen. And this one, ooh, it's like a mix of sort of like tropical fruits. I can't remember the set notes right off the bat. I will try to look everything up and place them when I can here. Um, but I know it's got rum and some fruits in it and cake. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's a great blend of all those things. And I love the way it smells. I think this one's also a great summer scent. So I will be getting more of this, Cake Me to Paradise. Now these are the samples I warmed in my bedroom. Oh, actually, I warmed all of these in my bathroom. Um, this one, Moon Orchid, love it so much. It smells so good on cold and warming. It was just absolutely beautiful. It was a strong scent. It threw and it lasted, I think, a good two days in my bathroom in my 15 watt mini warmer before it was time to change it out. It smells so good. It's just so pretty. Oh, you get like a berry scent and a floral mixing together beautifully. I love this. I'm getting more of this one as well. Moon Orchid, so good. I also warm Pink Berry Sandalwood in the bathroom. I like this one. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I didn't love it. I liked it. And the reason is mainly because the scent is just, it's really nice, very pleasant, but it's nothing like that jumps out at me and just speaks to my heart, I guess. And it wasn't quite as strong as, for example, Moon Orchid. So I like this. I would probably buy it again to give it, um, you know, a fair shot with more than just one sample. But as of right now, it's a like, not a love. I will buy it again to try it out. Pinkberry Sandalwood. I warmed another one of the new scents for the season. This is Bamboo and Rainfall. I did this in the bathroom. I really like this one as well. This is usually not like my preferred scent profile, but for spring, summer, bathroom melt, this is great. I was hoping there would be more rainfall scent. For me, it's more like a fresh, clean bamboo scent. I don't really get much rainfall from this. 
I think it's just the bamboo, which is clean and nice and very pretty. So I would get this one again and I would warm this in my bathroom, but that's the only place for me that this type of scent works. I just um, love it in the bathroom, but nowhere else, that's just my preference. But this one is very pretty. And if you like this type of scent, this is a good one, bamboo and rainfall. Next, I wore Magnolia Linen. This was in the bathroom as well. This one I liked. Um, I didn't love, but it was close. <laughs> I'm not typically a huge um, floral person or a laundry person, but this is a beautiful mix. It's a great blend of the two. And it smells so good. It just is clean and pretty and fresh and kind of powdery. It was a medium performer, I guess. I did this in the bathroom. It lasted a good, I don't know, two days before I changed it. So it was a pretty decent performer in that regard, but it wasn't hit you in your face. It was just a pleasant floral laundry scent that I really liked. I would buy it again and I'd warm it in my bathroom. But since these aren't my preferred scents, I don't know I'd buy it, uh, or excuse me, I don't know that I'd club it. Um, just because I think, you know, it's, you got to save space in your club for the ones you absolutely love, can't live without. And I think it's really, really nice if you like these type of scents. But I think there's usually enough new releases that I can be willing to let it go if it goes and try different ones as they come along. But this one is very pretty and I liked it. Magnolia Linen. Last of the samplers, I did another new release for this year, Wild Cherry and Sakura. Um, this one I thought I was going to love. I did like it. I thought it was very pretty, but I smelled it much more strongly on cold. Like on cold, it smells fantastic and I love it. But when I warmed it, I could barely smell it. So I was really disappointed on that because mm, it's just like there's a hint of like depth and warmth to this. But you also get like a sweet cherry floral. It's just it's just a beautiful scent. And I will buy this again. I think this is gorgeous and I think I will love it. I think maybe just, maybe the bathroom isn't the right spot for this scent. Sometimes in my bathroom, scents just like disappear and I don't know why. So I do love this on cold. I will try it again. I will get a bar and try it because it's just a gorgeous scent. And I think if I tried a bar, did more cubes in a different space, it would perform wonderfully and I'd love it. So want to love it right now um i just need to give it another chance to see how it performs but this one's just so beautiful wild cherry and sakura okay for the rest of the scentsy i did um mandalorian age of adventure in the bathroom this is an older bar that my sister gave me it's a flat bottom i've worn this a few times now over the past few months like one cube at a time in my bathroom and i think once in my bedroom this time I did it in the bathroom and I'm always disappointed because it just doesn't perform. It smells great in the scent pack and it smells really good on cold, but when I warm it, I just don't get anything. So I don't know if it's just a light bar or if it's because it's an older bar and it's lost a scent, but yeah, um, it's a bummer because I do love the scent pack. You get such a unique mix of scents there. It's like bergamot and like silver tree or something like that. It's really lovely, but it's just not performing for me. And I wonder if this is maybe why it hasn't come back and why we just saw it in the flash sale the other day. So want to love it, but for me, it's just unfortunately okay. I also warmed Twitter Pated, which I do love. This is the Bambi um disney scent i loved twitter painted i warmed it recently and i warmed it again because just spring is the perfect time for this type of scent this is an older bar from my sister i've warmed it a few times now one at a time these cubes um one cube does great it's strong it throws it lasts like a good two to three days it's a fresh clean like beautiful scent that just I mean what you see on this picture is what I think of when I smell it you get like a hint of fresh green grass and dew drops and floral and woodsy and I think there's a hint of Meyer lemon in there as well that I don't really pick up on but I believe that's in the scent notes 
I love this. I, I have it in my club. I don't know if it'll stay in my club forever, but I do think this is a wonderful bar for spring. And that's Twitter Painted. I love sea salt and avocado. <laughs> this is such a good scent. I, it was in the catalog a few years back. They retired it. And you can still get this scent in a brick in Scentsy Club. That's the only way you can get it. I do hope at some point it will return to the catalog or through Bring Back My Bar. But in the meantime, I have a little stash to get me by. And I am going to order a brick next time I get a Scentsy Club order. Because I love this scent and I want to make sure I always have it available. It's just pretty and clean and refreshing and fruity and just such a unique scent. So this is an older bar. It's got a flat bottom. I've been working my way through some of the older bars so I can just get rid of them and um, you know move on to the newer ones. So I've got one left. I'm gonna try to finish this out soon just to be done with it. But sea salt and avocado is just so fantastic. You do get the sea salt. I don't know if I smell avocado per se, but it is creamy and fruity and so good. I can't remember the other scent notes, but I just love this one. This is a favorite. If you have a Scentsy Club or you don't, consider starting one and getting a brick of this if you like those type of scents because, oh my gosh, it's so good. Sea salt and avocado is fantastic. We warmed Harry Potter, Slytherin, Cunning, and Ambition in our bathroom. My husband loves this scent. I like it too. It's actually grown on me. At first, I liked it. And then there was something about the blackberry note that bothered me, but I warmed it again the other day in a different bathroom and I really liked it. So um, this one is in my club. It's not currently available, but because my husband liked it so much, I put it in the club for him. We've warmed about halfway through this now. It is, you get like blackberry. I feel like there's a hint of something a little spicy, like pepper or something and woods, I think the description is like dark woods. It's it's just a unique, interesting scent. I really do like this. This one's grown on me. I'm glad I threw it in the club for my husband because yeah, I'm liking this more and more. This is my favorite of the Harry Potter house bars. I'm not a big fan of the Wizarding World, unfortunately. Um, and this is my favorite of the house. I still need to try Honey Dukes. I warmed for the first time almond croissant. I had heard so much about Almond Croissant, but I'd never had a chance to try it because it was already retired by the time I got into Scentsy. I picked it up in a flash sale. Yeah, a flash sale in January 2024. It was part of a bundle. And that's why I got the bundle, actually. It had a couple bars I really wanted and others I was curious to try. But this was one of the top two reasons I got that bundle. So Almond Croissant... I finally warmed it and I used two cubes in the kitchen. Oh, it's so good. I get the hype. It is toasty almond croissant, cinnamon, sugar, sweet bakery goodness. I'm really glad I picked this up. I will say that after having warmed this and having warmed king cake, you know, previously and loving it and clubbing it, I think I prefer King Cake. I've heard that they're very similar and I think people are right. They are similar. I would say one of the big differences between the two is with King Cake, which was part of the Mardi Gras collection. It's now retired, but they do have a similar just kind of profile. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. I think with Almond Croissant, you get a little bit more cinnamon and with King Cake, you get more butter. And I happen to love that butter scent. So I love them both. If I had to choose just one, I think I might choose King Cake. But I'm going to have to warm them again and really compare them. I'm curious if you've tried them both, what you think. Which do you prefer, Almond Croissant or King Cake? It's a tough choice, but I'd love to hear what you think. I warmed for May 4th the Star Wars scents. I had like one or two. Yeah, I think I had two cubes left in each clam here. They are very old, very juicy clams <laughs> that my sister gave to me so I could try these scents out. Uh, the Forest Dark Side and the Forest Light Side, uh, these are both currently in the catalog as a limited time release. But um, yeah, old bars, finished them up. I warmed 
the light side in my son's room. He chose the scent. I chose the dark side in my husband's bathroom. That's what he chose. And I warmed the two of them together mixed in our bedroom. I'd heard that was really good together, a really good combo. And I think it was. Um, I really like on cold the way the dark side smells. But I don't really pick up on it very strongly when it's warming. The light side, it's, it's nice. It's like airy or I guess I should say on the dark side, it's kind of like dark and peppery. It's, I mean, it looks like that picture. You pick up just like warmth and redness and kind of a, a deep edge to it. And the light side is light and airy and you think of air and ocean side. This one was really nice. It's not typically the type of scent I adore. So I was, <laughs> by the time it was done, it was like a good three days, I think, before this finally petered out. It is a boomer. It just goes and goes and goes, which is good. But I don't know. I was over it. I was ready to switch. It's a nice scent, but one day is good enough for me. But the two of them combined was really interesting. And I actually do still have that in a warmer in my bedroom. It hasn't finished up yet. So I'll probably put it on this weekend to try to, you know, just be done with that. And move on to another scent. But this was nice separately and together. Vanilla Waves. The famous Vanilla Waves. Everyone loves. Everyone misses. Everyone wants to come back. This was another bar that was before my time. It is retired. But it was in that flash sale in January 2024. In that bundle with the almond croissant. So this was the other reason I picked up that bundle. I really wanted to try Vanilla Waves. It is so good. I used, I think, three cubes in my kitchen, one in each warmer. And then I did two cubes the next day in the bedroom because I loved it that much. And I thought it would just work in any room in the house and it would be lovely in the bedroom too. I couldn't get enough. So that's what I did. I only have three cubes left, but I love this. It is Oh, vanilla and caramel and sea salt. And it just blends into this lovely mix that just makes me so happy. I love this. I really want this to come back. Okay, last two of the Scentsy Bars. This is a bar of salted lavender that I got from my sister. I don't know for sure when this was available, but as you can see, it was part of the International Wax Collection from Scentsy. My sister loves this. It's in her club. She gave me a bar so I could try it out. It is an older one. It's flat bottomed. I used one cube. She had warmed one and gave me the rest. You know what? Maybe she did little samples, like little circle samples, and I marked those and the cube. So anyway, salted lavender. I did this in the bedroom, and it's nice. I don't love this one as much as she loves it. This is her favorite lavender scent. For me, I think it's a very interesting combo because you do pick up lavender, kind of a sort of sweet powdery lavender and then the salt. It's so interesting, but for me, it's, it's nice. I prefer more of a sweet lavender myself. So I really liked it. I'm glad I got to try something that she loves so much. Um, but yeah, for me, I prefer a sweet lavender, but it's so fun to try different versions of it. Salted was definitely interesting. Okay, last of the Scentsy Bars I tried. This is Brownie Batter. This is a retired scent. This is one that my sister gave me to try. It's a flat bottom. She, I think, had warmed a couple cubes and then I warmed one, maybe two. I think I did two. Yeah, I warmed two cubes of Brownie Batter in my son's room to test it out. To be honest, I've been afraid of trying this because in the past I've warmed brownie scents and while they smelled good, they are so strong and thick and they just cleaned all the soft surfaces and make you, your clothes and house smell like brownie for weeks. <laughs> so I was afraid to try it, but I was chatting about this scent with um, Amy at Happily Scented Homes and she said she loved it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and warm it. I've had this bar sitting for a while in my storage. I'm going to try it, see if I like it. So did a couple cubes in my son's room and it wasn't a boomer. I thought it would be. Look at that. It even looks kind of like brownie. 
It's like shiny and juicy at this point. You do get the chocolate. When it warms, it does smell more like brownie. Right now, it just smells like chocolate to me. I did actually kind of like it, but it's not a scent I'm going to reach for typically. It's just... I don't know. I'm not the hugest fan of chocolate and wax. So it was okay. I don't love it. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, but I'm glad I tried it. And I just was surprised because I totally thought it was going to blow us out and <laughs> make the entire house just smell of brownie. And it didn't. It was it's pretty much stayed in my son's room. And it wasn't all that strong. And it went like, I don't know, one or two days. And then it went away. So it was actually kind of perfect. I got to try it without it being overwhelming and now it's done and yeah we'll see I might hold on to it and see if my son likes it and then he can warm it more but for me it's just okay but I'm glad I tried brownie batter okay so that's all for Scentsy so if you just care about Scentsy feel free to peace out and we'll see you next time and for everyone who wants to hear about the rest I'm going to move on to the retail I just have these four and then after, I will cover the Bender Wax. So, for retail wax, I did Better Homes and Gardens, Lavender, and Lemonade in our bedroom. I feel like I might have covered this one recently. I'm kind of forgetting now. So, if I didn't, here we go. Lavender and Lemonade from Better Homes and Gardens. It has lemon, sugar, pineapple water. Sorry about my dog. Lavender, melon, and vanilla scent notes. It's nice. I warmed um, four cubes. It's a little lighter than I'd want it to be, but it is sweet. Sweet lavender, sweet lemonade. It's a very pleasant, nice scent. I think it could work in the kitchen too, but I don't know. It was just okay for me. There's like, there's nothing bad to say about it. It was good. I mean, pretty and pleasant and it was fine and I liked it, but it's just not a love. I would maybe pick it up again, but uh, I don't know. I've got so much other wax, so I don't know. I'd I'd maybe pick this up one more time just to have it handy, but it's not a love for me. It's just a like. Lavender Lemonade. This one I did love. This is Sensational's Lemon Blueberry Donuts. I warmed three cubes in my kitchen. I love this one. It smells so good. It is mm, just blueberry and lemon forward. They blend so good. You get both at the same time. And it just makes your nose so happy. Oh, it's fantastic. You do get only a hint for me of the donut, like the bakery scent. It's, But it is there. It doesn't smell like a fruity scent. It smells like a lemon blueberry bakery, like a donut. And this is fantastic. I love this. I'm looking forward to warming the rest of it. Um, and I will definitely buy this again. I think it's awesome. Lemon blueberry donuts is so good. I warmed Goose Creek's homemade bread in the kitchen. I did four cubes of this and I actually quite liked it. It was just a sweet cinnamon, cinnamony hint of like savory kind of yeasty bread like a baguette it is yeah it's good I didn't think I would like this one as much after I got a chance to smell it because I thought it was going to be savory like a baguette and it ended up being more sweet cinnamon and sugar but it is really good it's just a really cozy comforting like light to medium but very present bread scent with some sweetness. I like this. I would get this again. I do like it quite a bit. On cold, it has sort of a plasticky scent. I've noticed that about Goose Creeks, but for the most part, their scents have performed really well for me. They're strong and they last a long time. And they're like $4, so it seems like a pretty good deal. So yeah, I'm happy with this one. This is Volcanic Sunrise by Goose Creek. We warmed this in my son's room, did two cubes. I really like this one. It smells kind of like a fruit punch with a lot of citrus. You get lime and orange and I think lemon. 
and some berries and fruitiness just blending together. This is so good. It's such a great summer scent, spring and summer scent, and I love it. It's been going in my son's room for, I think, three or four days now. It's not as strong as it was. It's not throwing like it was, but you still do get, you still do pick it up in the air. I am going to change it today just because, it's, you know, we've had it in for days and you can't smell it as strongly. I'm ready to move on, but I'm pretty impressed that days in it still got sent to it so I do like this quite a bit I would get this again volcanic sunrise is really good okay that's it for retail wax so now we're gonna move on to vendor I will start with the ones I just did one of so key lime taffy clouds from rose girls wax this has Florida Key Lime Pie, Saltwater Taffy, and board mar excuse me, and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, which is a Bath and Body Works type. I got this as part of a Key Lime sampler from them back in February, and I just warmed it for the first time last night in my kitchen. Two cubes, one in each warmer, and it is still going today. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this scent. I don't know if it's, there's just something about this combo that just is so like dreamy to me and like you get the key lime pie, you get the saltwater taffy, you get the sweetness of the marshmallows and a hint of being like on a boardwalk by the beach on a gorgeous spring day. It's just, it's just heavenly. I love this so much. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just... This is a, like, I would buy, buy this in a giant loaf if I could. I think this one is so good. So I'm going to let it go in my kitchen until it's fully done. And I'm sad that it's going to be done because it's just so good. Even though there's words and scent notes to describe it and a scene that I can paint of what's in my head when I smell it. It's just like indescribable somehow too. Sweet and fruity. Or excuse me, I dropped it. Not, sorry, not fruity, but uh, citrusy. And bakery and oh, it's just so good. I cannot hold on to this one. I love this. If you ever see this from Rose Girls, snag it. It is so good. I love it. So that's Key Lime Taffy Clouds from Rose Girls. This is Rocky Top Waxworks Carrot Cake with Cream Cheese Icing. I bought this back in February and I've been saving it for a special occasion. I warmed it on Mother's Day. Three cubes in the kitchen. It was so good. And her bars are so beautiful. Like it's a cake with a drizzle on top and you get all the shine. I love it. This smells so good. You get cream cheese. You get carrot cake. You get sweetness, you get a little bit of um, spice with like cinnamon and I think maple syrup. Oh, I love this. It's just such a great, cozy, warm, delicious scent. Carrot cake from Rock Rocky Top. I would definitely buy this again. I am going to be saving the rest of this as I am a lot of scents actually um, because I want my sisters to be able to smell them. So there's a lot of things I love and then I save the last few cubes so my sisters can try them too. So that's what I'll be doing with this. I know my sisters like carrot cake. They're not big bakery fans when it comes to wax, but who knows, maybe they'll like this one. I know I do. I love this carrot cake by Rocky Top. Now here was a special one as well. This was, so this is Sassy Girl Aroma Whipped Key Lime Pie. Its description is key lime, pie crust, and a dollop of whipped cream. I got this from Melanie at Bright House Scents. She was kind enough to send this to me back in April. And she sent me a whole bar, a giant full bar of this. And I was so excited because, first of all, it was just such a nice thing to do. <clears throat> Second, I'd never tried Sassy Girl. And with, you know, the fire that destroyed their business and them having to rebuild, I knew it'd be a while before I'd get a chance to try them. And I love key lime pie. 
So I was super happy to get this and I was super happy warming it. It is really good. I warmed through this middle bit. It was kind of cracked anyway, so it worked out. I just snapped out the middle. So it's basically four tubes I warmed. Now I can fold it, which makes me able to store it easier. I love this. It is such a good key lime pie and you do get the whipped cream with it too. It's just like adds a little bit of creaminess. So it's not, um, you know, too sharp on the lime. It's just sweet and delicious. I love this. I, I'm really excited. I have so much to warm through and I would definitely buy this again. I love key lime pie and now I've had a chance to try it from a few different vendors and I've loved all of them. Apparently I just love any kind of key lime, but this is a really good one. I love this key, uh, whipped key lime pie from Sassy Girl. Such a good one. Thank you, Melanie. All right, we're getting towards the end here. We just have seven more scents. Three from Lavender and Speckles and four from Second and Spruce. So this is Lavender and Speckles Lilac Clouds Beach Marshmallow. It says fresh lilacs blended with marshmallows, magnolia blossoms, and marshmallows, vanilla, sea salt, driftwood, a hint of s'mores, our version of Bath and Body Works Beach Night. This is beautiful. It is such a beautiful scent. This, um, I think they came, yeah, there are six cubes in here. And I warmed three of them in my bedroom, apparently. I thought I just did two. Oh, right, that's what it is, sorry. I warmed two cubes in my bedroom and I gave one cube to my mother-in-law because she loves lilac and I thought she would love this scent as much as I did. So I have three left. I just love this. I love lilac and I'm learning I love beach nights. It is just such a beautiful, dreamy, heavenly combo of scents. It's just light floral lilacs. Like they're definitely there. They are definitely present lilacs, but it's not smack you in the face floral. The lilacs just get creamed out a bit and sweetened up with the marshmallow. And then the hint of the magnolia blossoms just a little bit extra floral to it, but you get that sea salt driftwood s'mores mix in there. I don't pick up chocolate at all, but you do get all the other things. It's just fantastic. This is a great bedroom scent for me for the spring and summer. I absolutely love this. I cannot say enough good things. If you get a chance to pick this up, do it if you like these type of scents. It is just so perfect for spring and summer and I love it. I've got another lilac blend coming from Lavender and Speckles. I just did their pre-order and sometime this summer I should get it and I'm just so excited. I love lilac and hers is gorgeous so love this one so much. Another love from Lavender and Speckles. I did key lime sugar cookies. It is tart key lime buttercream, sugar cookie, royale, and pie crust. I warmed this recently and I warmed it again. I just love this. I did two cubes in the kitchen. It was fantastic. Strong, tart, sweet pie crust. You get it all. It is so good and I love this. If you see it, I highly recommend picking it up. She's got an awesome key lime and I love this so much. I'm saving the rest so my sisters can try it, but I love this. I would continue to warm it if I had a bigger bag because it's just so good and I can't get enough of it. So that's Key Lime Sugar Cookies from Lavender and Speckles. So if you can't get this exact blend, she's got a great Key Lime. So I'd pick up whatever she's got. This is so good. Last from Lavender and Speckles, I warmed for the first time Espresso Buttercream Pretzel. I did this in the kitchen. I was just looking for um, like a light kind of mellow one cube <laughs> um, warm that day because I still had something going in the kitchen. I can't remember in my other warmers. Oh, it was carrot cake. Carrot cake was still going in my other warmers. So I just wanted a little hint of coffee for the morning to perk me up and complement what was already still warming in the others. So I did one cube or one little bunch in one of the other warmers in my kitchen. And this was so good. Like when you sniff it, 
it smells like strong coffee. And you get the buttercream and the pretzel, just hints of them. Just giving it a little extra interesting note. But when you warm it, um, it's like a mellow blend. It's not, maybe it would be stronger, more hit you in the face if I did more at a time. But since I just did the one, maybe, I don't know. But this was just a perfect mellow coffee blend for me. And that's what I was looking for. Sometimes I want a strong coffee. Sometimes I want a mellow one. This one for me, I think because of the addition of buttercream and pretzel, it was a little bit more mellow and it was perfect. So I had carrot cake and from lavender, or excuse me, I had carrot cake with Rocky Top going and I had lavender and speckles espresso buttercream pretzel and it just smelled really good. Cake and coffee and it was delicious. So I like this one a lot. I will definitely warm this again and I would probably buy this again. I'm going to warm it again next time. I'll do it on its own just to get a full sense of it and do two cubes. And then I'll probably save the rest for my sisters. But yeah, I really like this one. Espresso buttercream pretzel from Love and Specials. Okay, last but not least, I warmed uh, my first four warms ever from Second and Spruce. I recently received my haul from them. I ordered from their February... Oh gosh, I forgot to mark that. I ordered from their February uh, pre-order um, from the different offerings they had, including the One Collection, which is inspired by Friends. So I started warming them pretty much right away after I got my package, and these are the ones I've warmed so far. I still have many to go, but I started here with the bakery scents, because of course, and I did these in the kitchen. So the first one I went with because it so impressed me on cold, which I did a video covering. So you can find that on my channel. I've got um, me sniffing through first sniffs of my haul from Second and Spruce. I did uh, I Know, which is raspberry jam, vanilla cream cake, and buttercream. And this one was really nice. It smells so sweet and jammy and raspberry and vanilla buttercream on cold it's like you just want to eat it on warm it did pretty well um i didn't love it as much as i thought it would for some reason i don't know if it's just that um the buttercream wasn't as buttery as i wanted it to be because i do love a strong buttercream so i don't know if maybe that was it um but yeah i really like this i will i think let this one sit a bit longer and then i'm gonna warm it again I, I think it's absolutely lovely that raspberry jam is like so sweet and jammy. You really get that. And the vanilla cream cake. I think I just want a little bit more butteriness. Um, so it might just be that she uses a different blend of buttercream than I'm used to and maybe has less. I have no idea. Um, but I'm going to warm it again and see if it's truly a love for me after you know, I've let it sit for just a little bit longer. It looks like a poor day to 4, 7, 24. So it's not, a, it's like only a few weeks old at this point, like four or five, six weeks. So yeah, I will definitely look forward to trying this again. Next is Second and Spruce. I take the Rachel. This is candied violets, wedding cake, and buttercream. I kind of had the same experience with this one. I wanted, I was super curious about sugar violet or excuse me, candied violets, especially mixed with buttercream and wedding cake. So I grabbed this one, I warmed, um, oh, I should say on the other one, on both, I basically cut into it and did essentially two large cubes from this little mini loaf. I did that here too. And I warmed this in my kitchen as well. And this one is really pretty and really interesting because you do get the violet. And it's just toned down a bit and sweetened up by the cake and the buttercream. This one's super interesting. I think I might warm this next time in the bedroom. Just because it has that floral note in it. And I think it worked in the kitchen. But I think it could be really interesting in the bedroom since it's got that blend of sweet and floral. So... Yeah, I like this one. I'm looking forward to trying this again. Now this one I loved. This is Central Perk. It's espresso, almond biscotti, almond croissant, cinnamon sugar donuts. This one, so good. This is a beast. Mm, 
it is so strong. You get the coffee and you get the bakery almond scents and some cinnamon and sugar. It is fantastic. I used um, essentially one cube in my kitchen. Oh boy, it was strong. It scented up my entire house. I've got a split level house and it filled the kitchen. It went through the living room, upstairs, into the bedrooms, in the hallway, and then downstairs into um, the downstairs area right before the garage. Like, we went outside to play um, and then came back in, and it hit me in the face. It is such a good, strong, really great coffee scent. I love this. I am so glad I have this. Um, I would definitely buy this again, and I highly recommend it if you like a good, strong coffee scent. So that is Central Perk from Second and Spruce. And I'm hearing from other people who've tried them that her coffee scents are just like great in general. So if that one's not available again, I'll try a different coffee scent next time because dang, that was good. Okay, last but not least, here is um, Bing Missing You, which is glazed cherries, buttercream, sugar cookies, and maraschino cherry drizzle. I love this one. I got this because I thought it might smell like Sensi's Maraschino Sugar Cookie. And it kind of does, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, you get this. Oh, my goodness. That cherry. It is so good. And it blends so well with the buttercream and sugar cookie. But it is very cherry forward. And it is a blend of the Maraschino Cherry Drizzle and a glazed cherry. It's got an extra depth of cherry note to it than you get from Maraschino Sugar Cookie. It smells so good. It's like almost more like a pastry type of cherry than a cookie cherry like maraschino sugar cookies from Scentsy. They're both fantastic scents. I love them both. I'm really glad I picked this one up. I did two cubes. Her wax is so soft and it is so pretty and it's just so cute. Like look at those little cherries right there. I just love the way it looks and smells and it's just so soft and fun to touch and yeah it warmed beautifully it was strong it smelled great <clears throat> it was a pretty good performer i i want to say i could smell this throughout my whole house too uh, not quite like that coffee that was a whole new level of intensity and throw which i loved but this one was a good strong scent a good performer i think i did a day and a half or so before it was starting to lose its scent but I liked it a lot. It smelled great, performed great. I'm glad I got this one. Okay, now that does it. We have made it through all my scents that I've been warming the last, I don't know, week to two weeks in Scentsy and retail and vendor wax in the bedrooms and the bathrooms and the kitchen. So this is everything. I've thoroughly enjoyed warming it all and I appreciate you all watching. I thank you for tuning in and I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried any of these? Do you wanna try any of these? I love to chat wax, so let's do it. Let's chat wax, tell me what you think. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.